Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to this October entry for days 21 to 25. My name is David Arroyo and for those of you that have been following, as you can see, I've been working on these for quite a while now. So we've made it all the way to number 25. We're going to start looking at how these ones were made first. And the thing that you might notice is that, wow, they are getting quite detailed these last ones. Uh, I started off quite sketchy as usual. But when I started getting to character number three on this sheet, yeah, things really started to go wild. I started to make different type of design changes. Um, yeah, it kind of took a while. So to get to this point right here where both the character one and two are pretty much in the sketch form finished, it was 37 minutes. Went super fast, um, you know. I was very happy very quickly. So in a very short amount of time, I pretty much had a very good idea what I wanted to do. But obviously, as you can see, you know, I make little adjustments here and there, um, you know, and it, the biggest issue was the character in the middle. Okay, so character number three, wow, that took quite a while because I just didn't know. I, I, for some moment, I thought, okay, maybe I'll make a sniper and then maybe I'll make, uh, you know, some like heavier dude, but then it started to remind me of like Halo. And as you can see, the lines, they really look like sketchy. Uh, and that is me being frustrated as hell because I can't find the actual, I don't know, the actual lines anymore or the actual... Um, you know, feeling or, you know, well, you could see it anyways. I mean, you can see it in the lines. They're really not that clean at all. Uh, anyway, so what I wanted to say is let's start talking a bit about who these characters are, right? So, and before I continue really quickly, one last thing, as you can see right now, which is crazy, which is something I should not have done, but I thought, hey, you know what? Eh, it's, the lines are too sketchy. Let me do it on a separate layer so that I can like clean up the lines. But the problem with that is that when you do that, you are going to go very detailed. Your lines are going to be very clean. And then if your middle dude looks clean, then you're going to have to clean up the others. Wow. Kind of shot myself in the foot with that. So it took me... I mean, this particular one, I think over five hours and a half to finish all three. Um, because, yeah, it's just, you know, a whole bunch of detail. And you can see it here. You know, this this is much more detailed than uh, the other two. So anyways, let me quickly uh, tell you what these characters are about. These three characters, they are from the uh, Union. So they work... Um, kind of, you, you can kind of see them as law enforcement, like police and that type of stuff. Um, they are like, you know, on the the first dude is more like the, you know, the civilian type of uh, police officer that you'll see with, you know, normal uh, people. Then the dude on the right, or the second dude, I mean, well, the robot, basically, that one is like, you know, the infantry that they tend to send to, you know, the, the danger, uh, dangerous missions and stuff like that. That's the guy that they send. Uh, they have a, thousands of these, like, you know, really scattered all over the fortified cities of the Union. And then uh, the third one uh, is more like a... Um, not like a heavy either, but, you know, like a, just a standard soldier that they'll send, uh, you know, to, to control riots and, you know, police operations and stuff like that. But the first one, that one is more just the one that you'll see on the streets uh, when there's no trouble, you know, just the normal casual one. Second one will be, you know, you'll see that character when, you know, for special operations or, you know, when they have to control crowds and stuff. And the third one as well. These ones are a bit more uh, intense. So then you have still uh, from the Union, you have number 24 and 25. 24 is what I call a phantom. So these are phantoms and phantoms, they are kind of, they don't form part of the police. They're actually a specialized unit uh, of the Union that uh, does investigations. But at the same time, phantoms are super cool. Actually, they're like my favorite character or type in in the this world of reset that i'm creating they're kind of like a mixture of fbi agents if there ever was an fbi in this world and um kind of like field operatives so they do definitely do operations uh they have the coolest gear ever 
okay so they can they have optic camouflage uh they have you know so that suit on the you know all, all the way on the left uh that's like their kind of tight suit it's very lightweight uh you can you know they can jump it's like this suit that allows them to make longer jumps uh, pick up heavier stuff uh it's this really really cool thing and what you see that you know that dude standing next to that suit is basically like uh, the detective that is either in the suit that actually is under it or um, the partner that phantoms run with so all phantoms have to run with a um, robot uh, partner you know so the, the, from I mean they look perfectly uh, human on the outside but from the inside they are fully robots you know there's like um, they're part of that because the thing about phantoms is that phantoms are really cool they can hack into other people's brains uh, they can hack into other robots and control the robots they can uh, hack into all kinds of like virtual worlds uh, where um, crime organizations meet up and all that stuff and they can do this simultaneously with several like avatars at the same time uh, so phantoms are very very special people they are um, enhanced human beings really so I mean they are humans don't get me wrong uh, but they have all kinds of augmentations that the union has given them um, to allow them to, you know, um, monitor people over distance. Um, and they cannot just hack anyone. They have to um, create all kinds of, like, uh, active connections between the person that they're going to hack or the robot that they're going to hack. So it's not like they can just randomly select someone and you know enter their brain and take over no uh, but because they do all this stuff um, you know they have to go into undercover operations and all these spy type of things the most you know the coolest operations that's when phantoms are called in when uh, high profile targets are uh, needed to be killed or you know taken out or spied upon or this or that that's where phantoms come in. Um, as a matter of fact, one of the lead uh, protagonists of uh, Reset uh, is a phantom because phantoms also have access to absolutely every region within the Union. Uh, then, quickly moving on to 25. So 25 is basically another like robot uh, that is used not just for the police but the military as well they use this one as well uh, so the union has a massive arsenal of different types of uh, robots and different types of you know automated uh, infantry and this and that so this robot here that you're seeing here is just one of them is one of the models that they have thousands of so there's like uh, lots of copies and it depends this one tends to be one that goes also into uh, more military type of operations uh, versus number I think it was 22 uh, on the, yeah, there we go. Versus number 22. It's more like a police one, that one. But um, so there you go. These are numbers uh, 21 to 25. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for stopping by. And uh, yeah, take care.